Now we will finish the top area using Surface High Speed Spiral. First, select the Transform tab. Then select Rotate. From the Quick Masks area, select all spline entities. Press End Selection. Ensure the method is set to Copy. The number of instances is set to 7. And the angle is set to 45 degrees. Then press Enter. Press OK to exit the command. Right click in the graphics area and clear colors. Select the surface high speed area roughing. Right click on it and drag it below operation number 6 and select copy after. Move the insertion arrow down. Then select parameters. Change the toolpath type to finishing and select spiral. Select model geometry. Change the wall stock to 0 and the floor stock to 0. Then select Toolpath Control. Click on Select Boundary Chains. Right click in the Chain Manager and select Add Chain. Then select all of the chains. And press OK. You should have nine chains in the manager. Press OK again. Ensure Compensate 2 is set to Outside, and set the offset distance to 0 0.04, and disable Include Tool Radius. Select Tool. Select Library Tool, and click Filter. Change the Tool Diameter to 0.25 ball end mill, and press OK. Select the quarter inch ball end mill, and press OK. Change the comment to finish the top of the part. Select cut parameters. Change the step over to 0 0.01, and the percent of tool diameter 1000. Enable Outer Radius and Spiral Clockwise, and set the Outer Radius to 1.9. Select Transitions, ensure it's set to Smooth. Then select Steep Shallow. Enable UZ Depths, and set the Maximum Depth to minus 0.4. Then select Linking Parameters. Ensure Minimize Vertical Retract is selected, and Minimize Trimming is selected. Then press OK. And regenerate all dirty operations. Backplot the operation. When backplot is finished, press OK. Then click on Simulator Options. Change the stock model to Stock After Machining All Pockets, and press OK. Then verify only operation number 7. When verify is finished, minimize the simulation window.